All right, welcome back. Today we will be doing a valve lap adjustment on this 3B diesel made by Toyota. Uh, yesterday I did the valve lap on the B engine I have here in the BJ40, but uh, the video quality wasn't up to par. So I scrapped it and figured I have this one. I don't even know the condition. It's actually the first time I'll be taking off the valve cover to look inside, but it's the same as that one on the top end, so the procedure's the same, so we'll do a quick little video on this, show y'all how to do it. Tool-wise, uh, on this one, I needed a 22 millimeter to turn the crank pulley. On this one, it's actually a 24 millimeter on the crank pulley. And then you're gonna need a 19 millimeter to take the four bolts off the top of the engine. To, and then the valve cover will just slip right off. After that, all you're gonna need is a screwdriver and a 14 millimeter to adjust the valves and of course, your feeler gauge. All right, let's jump right in. All right, I already broke these free with the wrench, so we'll just take these off real quick. All right, so once you have those four bolts off, valve cover just pulls right off. Uh, another thing to note, you will have to pull your intake tube off because it's kind of in the way here. Obviously, this one doesn't have one, but on the BJ, on the B engine over here, I did have to pull it off. It makes it a lot easier. And just FYI, when you cover up the intake with a glove so you don't get dirt down in there, uh, when you're rotating the engine to find top, top dead center, it will try to suck that glove down. So watch out for that. It's actually, without the glove on there, it's actually easier to turn the engine over. All right, so to find top dead center, you're gonna just rotate this crank pulley. And this little knob here that's poking out of the timing cover is where you're gonna line up your notch. And there is actually three notches on this one for three nicks. So you got one here, one here, and one here. Uh, on my B, this little thing was over here, and I lined it up with the first mark. So the first mark over here would equal to like the second or third here, but I'll show you. If you don't know which one, you just kind of got to stop at each one and then kind of pull on the rockers to, or valves, see which ones are loose. So we're going to go, all right. I don't know if you can see that, but I have the little notch on the pulley lines with the gear, or not the gear, but the little knob there on the timing cover, and we should be at top dead center. We found top dead center. We're gonna start adjusting one, two, three, and number six. And how, just to make sure we're at top dead center, one, two, three, and six should be loose, and five, six, or sorry, four, five, seven, eight should be tight, so. One's loose, two's loose, three's loose, six is loose. Four's tight, five's tight, seven's tight, eight tight. So now we're safe to loosen these up and adjust it. All it's gonna take is flathead screwdriver and a number 14 wrench. Put your spanner on there. Hold it with the screwdriver, loosen it up. All right, so now we are loose. So now you're gonna just use your screwdriver and turn it, and that's gonna tighten it and loosen it. You're gonna get your little uh, gapper here. You're gonna slide that in here, tighten it down till you feel a little bit of drag and you can pull it out freely, but you can kind of feel it scraping on the top and bottom. And I kind of, what I'd like to do, I like to kind of pull up and down on that. And if you get no movement, you know you're tight enough, but you just don't want that to be trapped. So we got that in there. We got the intake gapped at the .20 millimeter. And now we're gonna hold that steady and tighten the nut. And then after you got it tight, make sure you got this right. Again, I'd like to make sure there's no movement. I can hear it dragging, but I can get it in nice and easy. Now, another thing to notice, the way I'm doing it with the 
0.20 millimeter. This should be on a hot engine. Uh, I got this on the stand, and I'm just doing this for video purposes to show you all how to do this. So you would actually do the cold setting on this engine. Uh, so eventually we'll look up the cold setting and go back and do this properly. But So my measurements that I'm doing should be done on a hot engine, just FYI. All right, dropping things. All right, so now we're gonna move on to number two, intake. Same process. Loosen the nut. I just kind of leave that on there. Put in our feeler gauge. All right, let's just move that out of the way for now. Put the feeler gauge in. Turn the screwdriver. All right, I like where that's at right now. So now I'll just tighten it back down. Double check, I like that. All right, so we're good. So now we're gonna go to the two exhausts we can do here. And then we're gonna find our .35 feeler which actually it's a 0.36. I don't have a 0.36, so we're just gonna use 0.35. The actual 0.014, which would be the standard measurement, that actually matches the service manual. So we'll go with it. Loosen it up. Kind of like that right there. Tighten it down. And I kind of, uh, I don't know what this, I'm sure there's a spec on how tight you do that, but you're really holding the, the rod with the screwdriver. You can't get a socket to actually use a torque wrench and just kind of notice how much force you're actually taking these off. And then I just use the same amount, get it back on, getting it tight. Uh, I've done this on the B now, I've done the Cummins once and that's did the same method. I haven't had any issues with that. All right, so now we're gonna go back to number six back here. Number six exhaust. Cut that loose. All right, I kind of like it right there. Tighten it down. Still like it. Good to go. All right, so now we got those four done. We're going to rotate the engine 360 degrees. And then the other four we didn't do should be loose, and the ones we did do should be tight. So we'll rotate it around. All right. So now, one tight, two tight, three tight, four loose, five loose, six tight, seven loose, eight loose. So we are good to go for the next four. Uh, I'm not gonna repeat the process. Once you know how to do one, it's the exact same on the other one. So there you go. All right, there you have it. Valve lap adjustment on the old 3B. Same method went for the B engine and the BJ40 when I did that yesterday. Hopefully it helps you out if you haven't done one before. It's super easy. Don't take it to a shop and pay somebody to do it. You can do this at home. Keep the old diesels running. All right, thanks for watching. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel. Be ready for the next video. Thanks.